Well, it has been 15 years. It will be on, uh, on a week from Sunday for the 9-11 attacks. The new World Trade Center is open for business. One World Trade is more than just a big new office building. And for many reasons, it had to be one of the safest. Watch this. The unique safety features inside One World Trade are a key reason it cost $3.9 billion, $2 billion more than any other skyscraper in the world. It was designed precisely to survive a 9-11 type attack, which makes it both a shield and a bullseye. The World Trade Center remains a target, it remains a target for the Al-Qaeda groups, for ISIS. Don Borelli spent 25 years with the FBI and helped lead New York City's anti-terrorism task force after 9-11. He's now an NBC News analyst. Do you think there have been any credible threats, even during the time of the buildings? Lots. Lots. I would say lots. That is from the new CNBC documentary that we're very excited about. It airs tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time. It's hosted by our own Jim Cramer, and it has been getting sensational you, reviews. Bill. You really did a great job Thank with this you. one here. Thank you were just, we were just talking about this. I mean, I, we worked down there right. every day. Sure. You were afraid of that building for a while. Oh, absolutely. I, I even, there was a moment when I looked at a plane, the reflection on the building, because it's beautiful. So that night, I went like this. Yes. It's just, we all remember that day. It happened to be a beautiful day. We also remember that's just exactly like that. what it looked like. And by, so I, I was fearful, but by the end of the documentary, which took a long time to do, I admit I was just too fearful. And I'm not saying that, to be glib about it. It's also, remember, it is a cemetery, too. But right. uh, I, I felt it was hallowed ground, but I also felt that if, if told that we were to work there, I would say, of course, I would not have any hesitation. That's what I was wondering, uh, Jim. You know, wh the people who are now getting office space in that building, how do they feel about it? Is there a sense that they're almost doing something patriotic? Do they try not to think about it? Uh, the, these are really the, you gave the whole gamut. Some people feel that it's a, uh, that literally it's, it's a statement of resilience. And other people just feel like, boy, is it ever convenient because it's right next to the Port Authority. <laughs> other people uh, each day find themselves looking at the, re at the reflecting pools. And, uh, and trying to catch their breath. So you've, you've got all these different people, and I'm sure you have people, I did not speak to them, or and no company told me this, who just wouldn't do it. Uh, and the building still has lots of space, and you, maybe you would believe that that's because there's not enough business being done in New York, or maybe you believe that there's companies that don't want their employees uh, don't want to be there. So it is a mixed picture, and I, that's why I urge people to go down there themselves. Let, make your own mind up about how you, how you feel. I'd work there. And we should point out, your documentary is not a look back. This is a look at what's going on now and to the future. And let's face it, Battery Park City, that whole neighborhood, has been revitalized in this time. But at the same time, I did, yes, but at the same time, I, I would tell you that I told my wife, I said, wow, we got to go down where the Oculus, look at these stores. These, and she says, do you, are you, I can't even bear to listen to you. What are you talking about? The idea that there be a, what, the Short Hills Mall is next to it. And right, I, right. I, I found, I caught myself because I said, look, I'm not a salesman for this, but right, right. what we're talking about is the rebirth. And to not acknowledge that there's a rebirth is literally just have your head in the sand. What about the cost? Jim, I was wondering too about the cost. I mean, you've mentioned that there's a bunch of different things going on there. We have all the office space. There's a lot of other things happening. The development was a huge project. Um, you know, is, is it working? Is, and, and is it done? I mean, are we now looking at effectively what that site is going to be looking like for some time? Well, I, I did think that the Port Authority Oculus was to me too expensive. The Port Authority has its own uh, a, a kind of structure that's a little otherworldly, $4 billion. It just seemed like a lot. Now, I have to tell you, in terms of security, uh, I was so impressed, and I also feel that security costs a lot of money. Right. I, I happened to visit the Coliseum with my daughter uh, it, the, earlier in the month, and I just, it, it, uh, in August, and we were talking about how much the Coliseum must have cost. And I mentioned I was doing the documentary. She's dad. It's going to make the Coliseum. It's going to, no one's thinking about the cost. The real Coliseum. The real Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. Well, because what happens, they took the marble from the Coliseum to build the Vatican. They recycled it. But I said, <laughs> hey, you know, this holds up. Now, obviously, it, it was about the fact that the Oculus has Italian marble and is so gorgeous, but is so expensive that you find yourself scratching your head about would that money have been better used elsewhere? Yeah. Uh, well, we're looking very much forward to the well, documentary thank you. tonight. Thank you. 10 o'clock. Really Eastern appreciate it. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.